It is time for the return of the dawn. Tony D, Tony D'Angelo makes his return to NXT after being locked up in a prison for a very long time. And that's not the only return to NXT because the Judgment Day are coming back and Dominic Mysterio might be leaving with some championship gold. Welcome back guys to Fog Wrestling for your WWE NXT preview for the 18th of July 2000. And 23. Last night's Monday Night Raw was actually not bad to be fair. It was a decent show by WWE standard. I might have only rated it 3 out of 10, but that's definitely better than the 1 out of 10 it normally gets. Anyway, what is NXT going to get tonight? Well, first we need to look at the show, the lineup for the show, and I think the big feature here is obviously the return of Tony D. The Tony D'Angelo, the family getting reunited with Stax. This has been very, very good. The, the promos, the segments between Stax and Tony D involving Galas, having a rat, making us believe that Stax is going to turn on Tony D only for Stax to be loyal and to stand by Tony D, take out Galas and win Tony D'Angelo's freedom. I mean, what a good story it's been. I think we need more of this stuff and I'd like to see more stuff like this on the main roster, on SmackDown, on Raw. NXT actually does a good job of doing stories. So hopefully we get the payoff. We do know they're getting a tag team title shot, I believe, at the next pay-per-view, Great American Bash. But for right now, Tonight is Tony D'Angelo's homecoming from jail, so I guess we'll have a little bit of a celebration. Could the family add a new member? Do they need to add a new member? Possibly. Maybe. They are outnumbered at the moment with Galas, and they've never really replaced two times either. I think it'd be good if Tony Stacks, uh, not Tony Stacks, I think it'd be good if Stacks had somebody that was beneath him, somebody that worked for him. Since Stax is the underboss, I think we need to see him have some minions that he can control, that he can be in charge of. So I would like to see maybe a couple of members, at least one member be added. Will it happen tonight? Who knows? We have Dominic Mysterio taking on Wesley for the North American Championship. The, the Judgment Day have been on a roll lately. Yeah, Dominic did lose last night on Raw with Damian Priest as they tried to claim the capture, the uh, Tag Team Championships. They were unsuccessful last night. Could they be successful tonight? I would do it. Honestly, Wesley's title run has been going on way too long. I think it's boring. I think Wesley's boring. There's no character there. Dominic Mysterio is absolute a heat magnet at the moment. The guy is getting booed out of every single arena that he is in. He's not even allowed to talk. The fans hate him. Fuck it. I'd put the belt on Dominic Mysterio. I hope Dominic Mysterio wins tonight. Uh, NXT Heritage Cup champion Nathan Fraser on Dragon Lee versus Los Lavarios and all two guys have moved over to NXT. I, I think Baron Corbin has been a good addition but I'm not interested in seeing Los Lavarios or Dana Brooke for that matter. We have Bronco Nima and Lucian Price making their debuts against Axiom and Scripps. I like the look of Nima and Price. They've got this unique kind of look to them, Caribbean style look. It reminds me a little bit of Carlito, a tag team version of Carlito. So we'll see what happens with them tonight. And then Kiana De James is taking on Gigi Dolan. They've been feuding for a while. Kiana James is a fake, according to Gigi. Gigi has never grown up, according to Kiana. I guess we'll find out who wins tonight. And last but not least, Fia Hale versus Electra Lopez has been announced. We know that Hale is going to get a rematch against Tiffany Stratton. And I guess she's going to get a warm up tonight against Electra Lopez and can she defeat Electra Lopez haven't really seen much of Electra Lopez, she's barely been featured on WWE television for a while now so yeah, no, I don't think her career's going anywhere I do feel a bit bad for her that she did get taken out of um, the Legado del Fantasma but you look at them now, they're not really doing much on Smackdown, they did push Selena for a little bit, they teamed them up with Ray, but yeah, LWO has kind of just fallen flat on its face, if you ask me. So, we're quickly going to go through the predictions then. I'm going to go with Fia Hale to beat Electra Lopez. I hope that they add a new member to the family, but I'm not sure that they will. I'll go with Kiana James to beat Gigi Dolan. I'm going to go with Broken Nima and Lucian Price to beat Axiom and Scripps. I'll go with Fraser and Dragon Lee to beat Los Lavarios. And I'm going to go with Dominic Mysterio to become the brand new North American NXT Champion when he 
defeat Wesley. That's how it's going to go down, in my opinion, guys. Let me know what your opinion is. And, of course, we'll be back here for the review. Should be a good, or at least a half-decent episode of NXT. And, like I said, with the heat that Dominic Mysterio's getting, I would stick the belt right on him. That's it, guys. Catch you in the next one. Until then, peace.